Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody was trying to ask how to do this on Facebook. A couple people answered them, and they answered them right. But there's a little bit of a trick to writing on this pyro, and I just thought I'd just share it with you. I'm going to hold down the control, but I've got my, my loops or my revolutions on six, get them pretty tight. Now, we don't want it. We'd want to start at the top, so you can just click on it and rotate it to the top but we wouldn't want the text to start on that end so we can mirror it. And here's the other key. Your arrow is pointing this way, so your curve is going that way. Click on that arrow with your right mouse button and reverse the subpath. So now it's gonna start from this end, and then you can just start typing text to path. We're gonna make it a little bit lart. Didn't do a very good job there. Text to path, go up to text, and bit text to path, and put it right there on that line. And what's neat about this, you can grab the text tool and just keep typing. And then that, uh, that way you can see what it will look like and then you can just keep going around the circle uh, it's a little bit slower than typing just because it's fitting it to the path but that way you kind of see what your spiral is going to look like then when you're done all you have to do is select it all go up to object and break text apart and then click on your spiral and hit delete and then you have it and you could keep going as long as you want it. Anyway, I hope that answered that question and thank you for watching.